Hey guys, I want to talk to you today about uh, which which editor or IDE should be using an AutoHotKey. Um, there's quite a few different ones that people have developed up, you know, plugins for and that you can use. So let's jump into it here. There, there's a post on the forum talking about the best editor for AutoHotKey. That's where I have a link here. I'll, I'll put it in the description. Um, there's, you know, a lot of support for each one of these things. AHK Studio is written by Maestrieth. Um, if you've watched any of my stuff, you see AHK Studio is what I use. I got about 40, I think, tutorials on my page here. Quick, sorry, code quick testers done by Geek Dude. It has some great functionality in it as well. Cipher Auto Hotkey is the editor I used to use. And so I have, I don't know, probably 20 or more uh, tutorials on Cipher Auto Hotkey. I've also used um, Visual Studio using this, this plugin um, and Notepad. I've played with that a little bit and Sublime Text. There's other ones like Vim and uh, Eclipse and stuff. Uh, but these, these are the main ones I think on average people that use Auto Hotkey program with. And the question gets down to, you know, there's a couple questions actually. So let's go on to the next screen here. Um, you know, which one's right for you, right? Well, hey, if you're a complete noob, if you haven't programmed at all and you're just starting Auto hotkey um you you really probably want to use site for auto hotkey right it has a very simple installation right after you install it everything is configured and set up for you for programming in um auto hotkey and it's just a great editor it's solid it does a lot of stuff um, a lot of functionality uh the intellisense and stuff and highlighting great uh, so it's a really, really good uh, editor to use if you're just starting out in AutoHotKey. I highly recommend it. If you're programming in other languages than AutoHotKey, uh, that's where I would say Site for AutoHotKey is also still great because I, I have over 80 different uh, IntelliSense highlighting stuff for it. I also used to program in Python and, and had the uh, the ID and the ID the API where I could you know, push programs out in Python and launch them. So that was really convenient. Notepad++ also has a lot of other languages as obviously Visual Studio and Sublime Text. Those are two big ones. You know, I should have probably thrown in Eclipse here. It wasn't in the other list, but Eclipse, if you're programming other languages, the thing is you got to, you know, adapt it for AutoHotKey. Uh, but if you're only programming exclusively in AutoHotKey and you're not a noob, you're not just starting out, uh, that is where I would say HK Studio is is amazing. Um, the amount of functionality and very specific stuff. The, the biggest hiccup that most people have when they first start using it is there's no toolbar. So watch my videos on that of just, hey, there's a little bit of stuff. And once you get, once you understand the Omni search, then it's easy to get done what you want to do. Um, Geek Dude's Code Quick Tester also has some really great functionality. So both of those if you're if you're doing stuff just in auto hotkey either one of those is great um auto hotkey studio is the one i've really dove in deep into and it's uh it's super helpful does really advanced stuff i mean noobs can use it but again there's no toolbars so it's for most people when you're just trying to learn a new editor it's just a bit tough to not have any sort of a menu helping you understand what to do and things. So I hope that helps. These are all, all of them honestly are, are far better than just using notepad, plain old notepad because of the IntelliSense highlighting. So at least use one if you're starting out with auto hotkey. Uh, um, again, if you're starting out that site for auto hotkey from Finks, is, it's a great solid one. So hope that helps. Cheers. Hi guys, and thank you for watching. If you've enjoyed watching my content, please remember to share, like, comment, and subscribe. I really enjoy hearing how you're using AutoHotKey, and it's really great when I hear these stories uh, how you're working smarter and harder. Don't forget to hit the alarm bell uh, to get all my videos, because you don't want to miss that one killer AutoHotKey alert. I'm also planning on sending out alerts. Um, you can see the URL up above here, theautomator.com slash news. Um, in it, I'm going to basically be sending a summary of things I've automated, links to cool scripts, ways to work smarter, not harder. And lastly, I'm going to have discounts to AutoHotKey products and Udemy courses. You can sign up for my news alerts at AutoHotKey slash news, um, or just look at that magic button that just appeared right now. Lastly, if you're as passionate about AutoHotKey as I am, uh, I have products on my site. If you go to theautomator.com slash stock, you can see I have water bottles, I have a squishy ball, and I have auto hockey stickers. All these I think are great ways to remind other people how much you rock. All right, keep automating, cheers.